uh, Wall Street Mill hike right now. It's about two miles. And I'll show you pictures as we go. Here's a map of the hike we're going to be taking to the Wall Street Mill, which is letter B at the top of the map. The center of the map, there's a number one. That is the Olson House, or also known as the Wonderland Ranch, that we'll also be stopping by. But we'll do a separate video on that one. We're going to start the hike at the letter P that's also in the center. So here's some of the sites along the walk to Wall Street Mills. So here's an old windmill, um, just some ruins al along the way to Wall Street Mills. Uh, there's a tank over there of some sort, um, pile of wood here, um, some more wood over there. And just uh, don't know exactly what this is for, but it's here on the way to Street Wall Street Mills. So here's a old truck looks like 1920s 1930s that's on the site of the Wall Street mill so here's the inside of the truck as you see there's not a whole lot left but what's amazing is these panels here are made out of wood interesting but I guess that's the way they built them back then and yet we find another ruins of a car. Just the right side and the rear seat. Amazing. Hmm. Just found this off to the side by uh, Wall Street Mills and don't know what this is. Um, got a nice little fence around it and two standing stones. Maybe the stones are headstones. Mystery deepens. There's a Wall Street Mills. Uh, kind of situated in all this brush and with those rocks in the background or so. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a closer look. Here's a little plaque about the mill. Um, if you want, you can pause and go ahead and read it. Hopefully you can see the type. It's big enough. Something um, by the Wall Street Mill. Not exactly sure what it is. Um, there's a little box on top of a hole in the ground. So maybe it's where they were digging for water. I'll show you what the inside of the box looks like, where the hole is. Right there. So, that's what it looks like. And then through the side, right here. There you go. Vent pipe. That was left here. And here's part of the mill. Um, I think it's the, actually the stamping process where it crushes the rocks. Uh, this place was actually looking for gold, not surprisingly. But it was also used for other things in that uh, time period. It was really in use between 1930 and like the 1970s. Changed owners a couple of times in that time period. So here's part of the mill from another view. And here's another view. Wall Street Mills. It's a beautiful view. And here's some rock outcroppings. Such a beautiful country. Ding rock formation. The rock is right off the ground or so. See right through it. Yep. So here's a, another truck right here. Um, looks like it's about maybe 70% complete. Comes even complete with tires. Look at that. Needs just a little air. Motor's right there. Maybe needs a carburetor. Missing the seats. Steering wheel. Um, I don't know, maybe you'll find some of the stuff back here. 
uh, you can tell it's a pickup truck, definitely. I don't know the brand name. There we go. Looks pretty well intact for what you expect for such an old vehicle sitting out in the middle of the desert. And here's uh, what you'll be walking through on this uh, Wall Street Trail, or Wall Street Mill Trail. It's not a bad walk. Pretty level, pretty easy. Could this be some kind of foundation to one of their little buildings they had here? So here you have it. Uh, this is the Wall Street Mills. So here's a abandoned building, I guess actually more ruins of a building, we found on the way to hiking to Wall Street Mills. So actually there's a fork in the road that if you go left, this is what you'll find. Looks pretty nifty. Looks like it's made out of cinder block and brick. This is what you find. Looks like a little patio of some sort right here. And then there's like a well right here. It's all filled in now. And we'll be able to find some history on this building. Who lived here and what was its purpose. And there's the back of the fireplace. Beautiful area that they live in. On this porch here, it says November 21st, 1939. So maybe that's when this house was built. And you can see the construction is um, cinder block and some other kind of maybe adobe type wall construction. If you look at this wall here. Like um, a little more sandy than normal bricks. Well, maybe it's cement, shaped like bricks. So I want to give you a short little tip for the Wall Street Mills hike trail, whatever you want to call it. You don't have to park in Parker Dam. If you just veer a little to the right, take the road that goes past Parker Dam parking lot. And then make your first left. That road will lead to um, Wall Street Mills Trailhead, and it's just a little shorter. You just save probably maybe I don't know half mile, three quarters of a mile hike. All right, so uh, that's a little tip.